वन टू थ्री फोर 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 Welcome. To take this test, you need a headset with a microphone and a reliable internet connection. Please put on your headset as shown in the picture. Put the microphone near your mouth. Do not remove your headset until you finish the test. When you are ready to continue, click Next. Quiet, please. Take this test in a quiet location without distractions. Please close all other computer programs and turn off all electronic devices. When you are ready, click Next. Ready to begin? Once you start, you will not be able to pause or retake this test. Please ensure you have enough time before you begin. Are you ready to take this test?
Please set your headphone volume. To set your headphone volume, use the volume slider in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Be sure to set your volume at a level that you can hear clearly. Remember, you can change your headphone volume at any time during this test by using the volume slider. This is a microphone test. Please read the numbers in the active box aloud. Speaking tips. It is important to speak naturally during the test. Here are some tips. Speak at a normal speed like you would during a conversation. Speak like you are talking to a person on the phone. There is no need to speak too carefully or slowly. Speak at a normal volume, not too loud or too soft. When you are ready, click Next. Before you start the test, we need to hear you speak, so we'll give you a question. Listen to the question, then give your answer. You have 30 seconds to answer this question. Try to speak for as long as you can. If you can visit anywhere in the world, where do you want to go? Explain why you think so. To start the test, please click Next. Part A. Reading. Please read the sentences as you are instructed. Part A. Reading. Please read the sentences as you are instructed. Please read sentence 1. Now read sentence 2. Now please read sentence 3. Now read sentence 4.
Now read sentence 5. Please read sentence 6. Now read sentence 7. Now read sentence 8. Part B. Repeat. Please repeat each sentence that you hear. For example, a voice says, Leave town on the next train. And you say, Leave town on the next train. I'm feeling much better, thank you. He shouldn't give you any trouble. Either open the window or turn on the fan. To tell you the truth, I don't really know. Again and again, she told herself to be brave. We could see three children playing outside. Keep all items in plastic bags. During the weekend, I'm going to put all the files in order. We reserved a table for 4 at 8 p.m. If your family is moving out of the area, please tell the office staff. The Lees used to spend their summers at the lake. You're entitled to use this product as long as you like. Highly motivated people are always valued at our company.
There are six basic items you should stock in your home. Looking ahead, the firm will focus on new technologies. Current stock prices are now available over the phone. Part C Questions. Now, please just give a simple answer to the questions. For example, a voice says, Would you get water from a bottle or a newspaper? And you say, A bottle. Or, From a bottle. If Jesse makes his living playing the piano, is he a musician or a mayor? Mrs. Brown gives her children a snack after school. Does she give them a bath or food? Samuel knows many words. Does he have a big government or a big vocabulary? Do people usually eat on the ceiling or at the table? If something is easily breakable, is it sturdy or delicate? Marty's peeling a vegetable that makes her eyes water. What is she peeling? The arguments are good. Are they valid or unreasonable? The change is very minor. Is it meaningful or insignificant? If Chris wanted to go fishing, should he go to a highway or a lake? If I take after my father, does that mean my father and I are similar or different? Science skills are emphasized. Are they important or ignored? Are you more likely to find a factory in a residential or industrial part of town? Which is easier to tie in a knot, rope or meat? Amelia can't make it to her appointment. Should she cancel it or laugh at it?
I'm reluctant to go. Am I excited or resistant? Are paintings a type of art or a type of fire? The flight departed an hour ago. It's five o'clock. What time did it leave? What common substance can a person put in coffee to make it sweeter? Are lawyers usually involved in lawsuits or landscaping? Lucy has a load of laundry to do. Will she use a washing machine or a dishwasher? What flash of light in the sky is often followed by thunder? How many sides does a square have? To water the garden, would you use a hose or a rake? Are belts commonly worn around the waist? or around the arm. Part B. Sentence builds. Now please rearrange the word groups into a sentence. For example, a voice says, Was reading. My mother. Her favorite magazine. And you say, my mother was reading her favorite magazine. Was living by himself. That their only son. They didn't know. The party. Around five. Starts. To visit us. That she was planning. My sister said. Fairly evaluated. The teachers should be. Her apartment. Outside. Wait. Maps required are accidentally deleted. The results might have been. Very warm. 
These gloves don't keep my hands. Katie will play in the concert. Her violin. The snowstorm to close forced schools. Part E: Story retellings. You will hear three brief stories. Each story will be spoken once, followed by a beep. When you hear the beep, you will have thirty seconds to retell the story in English. Try to retell as much of the story as you can, including the situation, characters, actions, and ending. You will hear another beep at the end of the thirty seconds. A husband and wife went camping for the weekend. On the first day, they went on a long hike in the mountains. After the hike, they were very hungry. When they returned to the camp, they found two bears eating their food. They decided to leave early and have dinner at a restaurant. Gary was sleeping when his alarm went off. He realized it was time to go to work. He put on his clothes quickly and brushed his teeth. He ran outside and waited for the bus. He boarded the bus and rode it until he got to his office. It was only when he walked into his empty office that he realized it was a holiday and he was not required to work that day. It is John's parents' wedding anniversary. John wants to make a special dinner for them. He decides to make fish. While the fish is in the oven, John's phone rings. He forgets about the fish, and it burns. When his parents come home, they all go out to eat in a restaurant. Part F. Open questions. You will hear two questions about family life or personal choices. Each question will be spoken twice, followed by a beep. When you hear the beep, you will have forty seconds to answer the question. You will hear another beep at the end of the forty seconds. What are two advantages of eating lunch together with colleagues at work? 
What are two disadvantages? Do you prefer sending postcards or emails from a trip abroad? Explain why. Part G. Conversations. You will hear a conversation between two people followed by a question. Give a short, simple answer to the question. For example, you hear, Lucy, can you come to the office early tomorrow? Sure. What time? 7.30 would be great. When you hear, What will Lucy have to do tomorrow morning? You say, Go to the office early. Or, she will go to the office at 7.30. I can't believe the traffic. I got stuck in a huge traffic jam for an hour just a short distance from my office. Did you miss your meeting? Yes, I had to reschedule it. Why did the man miss his meeting? Part H. Passage Comprehension. You will hear a story, followed by three questions. Your answer should be a few words or a very short sentence. Say your answers quickly and smoothly. For example, a voice says, Jason woke up feeling sick. He called his boss and explained that he couldn't come in to work. Immediately after making the phone call, when you hear, What problem did Jason have when he woke up? You say, He felt sick. When you hear, What did he do right after calling his boss? You say, Took medicine. When you hear, What did Jason do that afternoon? You say, He went to work. Jody struggled to think of a practical gift to get her husband for their anniversary. He was a builder and spent long days on site managing projects. As she scanned the shopping app on her phone, a very simple item came up, a stainless steel mug. It was pretty large, insulated and would keep his coffee warm all day at work. It also looked as if it was pretty strong and wouldn't break if it fell. She put it in her cart to buy when she'd finished her shopping. Half an hour later, when she went to pay, the mugs had all sold out. She couldn't find them for sale anywhere. What occasion was Jody buying a gift for? What item did she find on the shopping app? Why couldn't she buy the gift in the end?
Congratulations. You have completed the test. Thank you. Part A. Reading. Please read the sentences as you are instructed. Please read sentence 1. Now read sentence 2. Now please read sentence 3. Now read sentence 4. Now read sentence 5. Please read sentence 6. Now read sentence 7. Now read sentence 8. Part B. Repeat. Please repeat each sentence that you hear. For example, a voice says, Leave town on the next train. And you say, Leave town on the next train. With all the good programs available, it's difficult to make a quick decision. How about some coffee this morning? I really want to change that. Be prepared to give the exact words that appeared on your screen. Are you sure it's not a problem? Hello there. We expect the new project to be financially on target. Where did you find my keys? I've already forgotten what we decided to do. Just let me know what you need me to do. Have you seen the price of milk lately? Our business program gives students the skills they need to become leaders. Will someone please tell me what's going on? The next train is going into the city. A group of all ages gathered to hear the jazz concert. Closing time has come and gone, but customers continue to arrive. Part C. Questions. Now, please just give a simple answer to the questions. For example, a voice says, Would you get water from a bottle or a newspaper? And you say, A bottle. Or, From a bottle. What form of public transport runs underground? What do we call a round handle that you use to open doors? If something is hidden, is it in plain view or out of sight? If you're feeling ill, would you go to see a doctor or a salesman? Does a balloon travel on land, on water, or in the air? Which is not a liquid? Milk, juice, or cheese? Brandon was glad to hear the news. Was he pleased or unhappy? Jordan postponed the event. Is it happening sooner or later than originally planned? 
Are pillows soft or hard? Would you get lies or the truth from an honest person? Our team met the deadline. Did we finish late or on time? Is a beautiful painting attractive or ugly? Does November come before or after October? Marty's peeling a vegetable that makes her eyes water. What is she peeling? Harold arrived at 11.45 for an appointment at noon. How early was he? Who stars in films, actors or directors? Management was neutral about the proposal. Were they interested or indifferent? What's the adult form of a baby girl? Do you usually find pockets in a jacket or in shoes? Jamie wants to go scuba diving. Should he go to the ocean or the market? A horse normally has how many legs? If I wanted something sweet, would I look for a cookie or a lamp? Can you usually go faster on foot or in a car? Tuesday's meeting is mandatory. Should Teresa attend the meeting or go shopping? Part B. Sentence builds. Now please rearrange the word groups into a sentence. For example, a voice says, Was reading. My mother. Her favorite magazine. And you say, My mother was reading her favorite magazine. To your brother. The camera. You should return. Beautifully illustrated. Each issue is the money transferred the bank. David, for business, travels frequently and see a movie. We decided to eat dinner. The new owner to join the crew invited his sister until she sits standing remain Did anyone threaten his reputation to destroy? Has really been a delightful evening, this. Our plan was, before it got dark, to finish. Part E. Story Retellings. You will hear three brief stories. Each story will be spoken once, followed by a beep. When you hear the beep, you will have 30 seconds to retell the story in English. Try to retell as much of the story as you can, including the situation, characters, actions, and ending. You will hear another beep at the end of the 30 seconds. The longest road tunnel in the world is in Norway. Norway has a lot of mountains and narrow road passages in difficult or dangerous conditions, so building tunnels is often the most sensible option. As a result, this country has over 900 tunnels. 
The longest road tunnel in the country is 24.5 kilometers in length and took about five years to construct. Cars drive through it in both directions and there are four caves along the way where drivers can stop for a rest or turn around. It takes almost 20 minutes to get all the way through. Monica was one of the most talented runners on the team. She was not only good at running, but she also loved doing it. She would get up early every morning and go for a long run before she went to school. Madison couldn't find her books anywhere. She looked in her room but they weren't there. She looked on the bench in the hall. They weren't there either. The phone rang, and Madison answered it. It was her friend Kate. Madison had left her books in Kate's car when they drove home. Part F. Open questions. You will hear two questions about family life or personal choices. Each question will be spoken twice, followed by a beep. When you hear the beep, you will have 40 seconds to answer the question. You will hear another beep at the end of the 40 seconds. When you study, would you rather study in a completely quiet room or do you prefer to have some noise in the room? Please explain. When you study, would you rather study in a completely quiet room or do you prefer to have some noise in the room? Please explain. You have been asked to give a speech to a large group of teenagers, and you can choose to speak about any topic you wish. What topic would you choose to speak about? Why? You have been asked to give a speech to a large group of teenagers, and you can choose to speak about any topic you wish. What topic would you choose to speak about? Why? Congratulations. You have completed the test. Thank you.